Hello guys, today I want to quickly show you an example how you can extend str class in Laravel string class with your own methods. And I will show you two examples. One from the tweet, the original tweet, and then my own example from Laravel Daily.com source code. So the original tweet by Lara Shout, actually I advise you to follow that account with a lot of Laravel tips, goes like this. So in the app service provider, you can add a macro, str macro with your own method name and then the original value and potentially more parameters if you wish, and then return something, and then you can use that method in wherever you want, in the controller or blade or whatever. A similar example is from my Laravel daily com. This is why I decided to shoot this video to kind of compare those two. So reading minutes is quite often on Medium especially and other websites you can see the article and then minutes to read. So we implemented similar thing in Laravel daily com. If we go for example for premium tutorials, each tutorial will show how many minutes to read and what is the size. Of course, it's a rough estimate based on how fast you read, but generally it is helpful for users to understand whether they want to invest their time or not. And also it helps us to emphasize the value of Laravel daily com premium tutorials because they are really long and in depth. So anyway, how did we implement that? So in the blade of that page, or in fact, any page of showing the article or listing the article, there's this. So this is the source of Laravel daily com. The source itself is not public and not open source, but I will show you just this specific part. So human read time is an accessor on the model post. So there's a method called human read time attribute with the new Laravel nine syntax of attributes. And inside of that function, it is calculating or concatenating the string of time from read time, which is in the database. So read time and word count are actually real columns in the database, in the database table of post. And then we form the string of those each time where it needs to appear in the show blade or index blade of article or something like that. So it's not an str macro, it's a specific string function as a model attribute. That's another way to do the same thing. And by the way, those read time and word count are calculated in the same model, calculate read times, which is called from the job, from the processing the post, because it's pretty sophisticated what happens when I post a new article on Laravel daily com, it calculates those word counts and read time to save into the database but also it needs to format the code with highlighter, do some scheduled things for post to happen and stuff like that. So this is also a function in the model, which uses, by the way, the word count feature, the function, the method from str class from Laravel. And this is how it all comes together. So I hope with this video, I wanted to point out that you can customize the str with macros and how you can manipulate the database data to format it however you want, possibly partly using the ideas from our own solution at Laravel Daily.com. That's it for this quick video and see you guys in other videos.